All right, guys, as you can tell right now, this is the channel One Upper, and we're going to be talking about five minute crafts. As you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, we're looking at stuff that, you know, might not be exactly a craft and it might not exactly take five minutes or be the most logical thing that you could possibly do in that given situation. So we're going to talk about some stuff on five minute crafts. We're just going to go over a little bit of their content, their um, golden meme content, basically. So we're going to be talking about it and it's going to be a lot of fun. So sit back, relax as we go over this channel and uh, really just embark on a journey together that's probably going to blow your mind if you haven't heard about five minute crafts. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's get into it. And I hope you guys have a great time. Thank you for coming out and checking out this channel and, you know, enjoying a little bit of your day with me, a little bit of your time checking out my stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. <music> Okay, so as you can see here, Five Minute Crafts has 47,000 or 47,000,000 47 million 374,866 subscribers coming in at 11 billion views. Okay. So let's just go to their channel. I mean, as you can see right here, there are so many channels of this that have been, you know, either created by them or people trying to copy them. But we're going to go to the channel right now and we're just going to show you guys. It is an A plus on YouTube. Seventh ranked subscribers, 42nd viewed rank, 33rd on Social Blade, and they are racking in a whopping 591 million million views per month, earning them an estimated $2.4 million dollars and $28.4 million per year. Yes, you heard that right. Scroll down a little bit more and you can see right here that they are pulling in an average of 20 million views a day. What the actual, uh, I don't even understand. Like what is happening here? Uh, they have to have some of the best content on the platform if they're pulling in 20 million views a day, right? It's gotta be the best content on the YouTube platform. So let's go ahead and find out what we're dealing with here. Oh, the old magic stapler trick. Have you ever had your pants rip in public in a very embarrassing moment? Maybe you have the worst underwear on at, at the time in the moment. Maybe it's laundry day. Maybe you just need something to, you know, get you through and you ripped your pants in public. What are you going to do? You're going to grab a stapler, flip those bad boys inside out, and you're going to make it brand new again. That magic stapler is going to save your life. Happens to me every time. Every time I just pull out my magic stapler and I just... Magician that shit back together. That's how that works. Oh man, that classic case of explosive zipper. And then it gets stuck down at the bottom because your pants don't fit. You wear pants out of house that don't fit. I always wear pants out of house that don't fit. Skinny jeans on deck, right? So you have to basically just really just pull that zipper up and you feel like it's like a never ending battle between you and a zipper. It's just you and a zipper and everything else just fades away. Everything else around you is just motionless, senseless, smell, and tasteless. You can't even see anything else. You're so focused on your zipper and winning that battle that that's all you can think about. That's all you can think about. And you know what? Five Minute Crafts has an answer for you. <laughs> should whisper or if I should shout out loud. Do you see that? This maiden in distress, she literally was helped out on the war against explosive zipper. Like, I don't know if I should be quiet or if I should yell. This is crazy. This channel obviously is saving lives, saving lives every single day. Way to go. That's why they get 20 million views every single day for things just like that. Mind blowing. <clears throat> If it isn't apparent by now, I'm hooked on 5-Minute Crafts, and I need more knowledge in my arsenal to win the war against myself. So, I'm going to help you guys as well by digging through some more of their stuff, and hopefully I can help you guys win the war against yourselves as well. Let's go find out what else they have to offer, shall we? Listen, 5-Minute Crafts, we're trying to keep this kid-friendly, 
a little PG clean action here. So I can't have Linda, you know, flashing the whole town, okay? I can't be doing that. But I am kind of intrigued to know how we're going to fix this little Marilyn Monroe moment. So let's find out. Five minute crafts. We're back to the uh, magic tricks. First, we had a stapler that completely looked like it, you know, repaired pants to back to new after they got ripped. And now we're sticking magical tape to a skirt to secure quarters. Two dollars and quarters so that your skirt doesn't come up from a wind gust. I don't know. I think you're kind of reaching on this one. I think this is kind of a reach for sure because it's about to look like her nene is a quarter dispenser, if you know what I'm saying couple of those drop out somebody's gonna wonder what you're doing with that and uh yeah i don't know if i would do that i really don't i don't know i don't i don't really think that that's uh very necessary i think maybe there's a better alternative like i said in the beginning we're gonna you know go over some logic and i don't really think that that's the most logical thing that you could possibly do seems like there's a lot better things that you could do before you leave the house to secure your skirt just saying <laughs> Let's backtrack real quick. First we have the magical stapler that fixes the pants that rip when she bends over. Secondly, we have explosive zipper that needs to be fixed by chapstick to lubricate it so that it'll go up and down. When in realism, like that is uh, too tight of pants. And here's the girl. Here she is, right here, trying to put the pants on, trying to force them on. And this is why you dealt with both of those things. If you got a little bit bigger pants, you wouldn't have to deal with any of that. I want to see how they remedy this, so let's go ahead and figure out how they do that. You know, it's all really starting to make sense why the pants explode and rip. Water is your solution? Water? Alright, let's keep watching. So ultimately, you could do this and you could combat not only your pants ripping, but also explosive zipper. So why you got to do those other two? Just wet your pants down, stretch them out, make them fit, slide them right on. And you won't have any problem with explosive zipper or ripping your pants because they're already wet and they can't rip when they're wet. Right? Right? And hey, if you're in a rush to go somewhere, just leave the house with wet pants. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. He's finally gonna ask me out. I've been waiting for Steve to ask me out for months now. Finally. What do I do though? I mean, should I say yes? Should I play easy? Should I, should I play hard to get? Oh my gosh, I don't know what I should do. Susan use their finger and pull it out of their mouth so that the, the, the leftover lipstick wouldn't hit their teeth? Like, I feel like there are so many better things you could do than plop your finger in your mouth and pull it on out and slide all the germs that are on your finger ah, through your mouth. Like, your fingers shouldn't go in your mouth. That's not something you should do. Just say it. Keep your fingers out of your mouth. There's so many other things that you could put in your mouth or around your mouth, or do like your lipstick a little bit better maybe, I, I don't know, but get the kind that doesn't rub off onto your teeth. How about that? That's logic. Boom. <laughs> Once again, blow mine. Blow mine. You don't have to stick a finger in your mouth to get the leftover lipstick off your <clears throat> You don't have to do that. Don't do that. Do not stick fingers in your mouth unless absolutely necessary or you're choking on something. Don't do it. All right, so if you don't know who I am, I am actually Destroyer Great Productions on YouTube. You guys can look up that channel if you'd like as well. And I do car content over there. I figured that I would just branch out and try something new on this one upper channel over here. Um, and, you know, maybe it'll go good, maybe it won't. But I'm all about, you know, breaching out of my comfort zone, trying new things, always hitting that next level, trying to see what I can do. And, you know, 
I love car content. I love making car stuff on my other channel, but you know, sometimes it just gets a little bit stale and you need something else to do. So if you guys, you know, like this video, go ahead and think about, you know, maybe tickling that little like button down there. Or if you guys didn't hit that dislike button, let me know that this video sucked. Go ahead and leave a comment down below with your opinions on this video, whether you guys think five minute crafts is ridiculous or you guys love the channel. I mean, they get 20 million views every single day. So obviously people enjoy the channel and I'm not really sure why, because Every time that I look at the channel, I want to have an aneurysm. So, yeah, basically, uh, if you guys, you know, want to come back and check out my channel some more, think about, you know, maybe uh, hitting that little subscribe button. And if you guys want, go ahead and use your fist. Just ball it up real tight for me and try and hit with your knuckle the, uh, the little bell next to it if you decide to hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it's whatever. I won't hate you. But you know what? If you guys feel like coming back, just, just tap that little notification bell for me so you guys can be notified and that's all I got for you guys and look forward to seeing you guys come back time and time again and I appreciate every single one of you guys so yeah I will see you guys later take it easy everybody that is all from one upper take it easy guys